Hi, we're going to start off by downloading PQ method, which is software specifically down, uh, designed uh, for Q methodology studies. And I have a new computer, so I have a, a video posted on YouTube already, but it's an older version, so I thought we would start first from the Q method uh, website, which is qmethod.org, and then I'm going to go to links. And from links, I'm going to go directly to download PQ method. And it's going to open up a new browser window. And we can see that uh, Peter Schmalk has some information here about what's required and what uh, specifically our software does. So this happens to be a Windows machine. So I'm going to do PQ method download page for Windows users. And it was updated about a year ago because this is November 2015 and <clears throat> gives us some uh, some background information about what's new with this latest version. Um, there's a PQ manual that gives you some additional information regarding the program and some of the calculations. And it should come with the zip file here that has the, um, the actual program in it, right? So we can just <clears throat> click this and it we should put it in our uh, in our C drive so and then there's also instructions on uh, putting it on a a thumb drive or right a flash drive of some kind or a backup hard drive so I'm going to do um, installing it on the C drive all right so I'm just going to click this <clears throat> and it brings me here to oh, not there um, to my important files. I'm just going to go right to just the C drive and I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to just save it here. Usually I would just put it in downloads, but I can't quite remember. Uh, oh, well, I guess I won't be putting it there. How about I will just put it in downloads and see kind of where it gets me. I figured it would be best if I didn't practice first and instead I just um, really went along just as I would go along. So it's already downloaded. So I'm going to open this file up. And, and now everything is in, it says compressed folder. So I'm going to open this up and make sure everything's in here. Yes, it is, right? All of our projects and exciting things. Now I'm going to go back up a level. I'm just going to copy this. It just so happens that I already have on my C drive uh, PQ method <clears throat> and this happens to have some older things on it. If, if you look, you'll see that it has DOS box on here. That means that it's an older version and I have a gazillion other little files on here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to paste it actually right in here and hopefully then I can just come in and figure out here it says application so i'm guessing that this is where i want to start and there i am right so for those of you who aren't older like me right we have here this is the beginning of our program and this look is very dos oriented right so dos is what came before windows right i could um come in here I'm just gonna grab an example so I will go in here and we'll find um, I'm gonna go up one in here I think this should let me do it this way otherwise I'm gonna have to copy the contents into this file right so I can come down in here I'm gonna open I was looking for something earlier there it is so it's I'm not this one I want to do the physics one right so I have an old um, it's not that one either. I think it's called physics. But a lot of files. I've done a lot of studies, I guess. <laughs> Nothing like going through all your files. Right? And you notice they all um, are in one. All right. So phys epi 2 is what I want to grab. So I'm just going to grab, hopefully, that name and we'll see. I don't know that I can copy and paste because it is, in fact, a DOS program. Nope. So I'm just going to have to copy it. So fizz epi2. It actually shouldn't be um, case sensitive. 
right? And so now I'm in here. So I could come in here, hopefully, and be able to, oh, we have no statements in our file. So that can't be good. So we're going to actually hit enter. We're going to exit here, right? So what that really means is that I need to go into my little Q, PQ method file here. And I'm going to copy all of these. Right, so sometimes it's been a little while since uh, I ran any of these things. All right, so I'm just going to replace. Uh, hopefully that's the right thing to do. All right, and so now if we try this again, come down, and we'll run it from here. Oh, there they are. All right, so I'm going to look for the one that says application again. And we're going to see if we can get this to work. So let's see if I remember. We'll scroll and look at the name of our file again. So it was fizzepi, right? So we'll make sure that we type that in correctly because that would be important, right? So fizzepi. So we will do, oops, not p, fizzepi epistemology study, right? And we'll test again for our statements. Right, it says that I have 44 statements, so now I can still access all of my old, um, all of my old files that I use. So I could go in and do some things. Um, for instance, I could go into this old. Right? Do I want to launch the PQ rotate? Absolutely. Right? And there we go. Right? Is this from a previous rotation, yes, because it's from an older study I did a, a while back. And <clears throat> so I apparently had three factors. I could go and see what it would look like to rotate two of those factors. Right? So let's see, choose two factors and rotate them. So that would be F4. What two factors? I'll do one and two. And here is my screen for, right, so this would have been my final uh, product for rotating. And right, so everything's working, including my PQ rotate. Like I mentioned at the beginning when I first copied things into my C drive, right? We saw that window that said something about DOSBox, right? That was in order to get uh, PQ method to run on PC since PCs don't come with DOS anymore, but Peter uh, found an alternative. And so now we don't need that additional program and we can just go in and run it, we'll say like the old days um, when we could access DOS more e easily. And that's the beginning of our new version of downloading and running our PQ method um, circa November 2014. That's when this one would happen to be updated. And that's it.